Welcome to MBAs Teach Econ. Today we're going to be talking about consumer incentives and specifically we're going to be looking at the buyer's problem. I'm going to pull up this chart and this should be very similar to what you worked on in class and I'll, I'll probably refer to this example or this way to optimize for a buyer as the caveman example. So you can remember from class there were two key conditions when a consumer is optimizing that must be met. The first condition is that the marginal benefit per dollar spent for good X, or in this case for sweaters, must be equal to the marginal benefit per dollar spent for good Y, or in this case for jeans. So that's the first condition. The second condition is that the consumer needs to spend all of his or her money. So in this specific example, we give you the, the quantity or various quantities for each good. We give you total benefits and then we would ask you to solve for marginal benefits, which is simply finding the marginal increase in total benefits as the quantity increases. And then we would ask you to solve for the marginal benefits per dollar spent. So to find the marginal benefits per dollar spent, you would just take the marginal benefits for each good and then divide by the price for each good. So we can see here for sweaters, with one sweater we had a marginal benefit of 100 and then the marginal benefit per dollar spent was just 100 divided by 25 which equals 4. So we filled out this entire chart and then we checked to see where our, where our two conditions were met. You could see that there are several places where marginal benefits per dollar are equal for both goods but the only place where they're equal and the consumer has spent all of his or her money, which in this case was $300, is when the consumer buys six sweaters and buys three pairs of jeans. There's a marginal benefit per dollar spent of two in that case for each good, and they will have spent all $300. So this is a recap of how we optimize for a buyer using the caveman method.